Untouchable is making this his marriage proposal to Precious look like a content. I don't know if he's trying to prove to the world that he's the king of prank. If I say this thing, some people will be like, authority voice, what, I, what are you saying? Any hand that touch the share button, subscribe to this channel, like and comment. We never lack anything in this life. Greetings, my wonderful family. My name is Men's Authority Voice, aka a Professor Peter Truth. Wherever you are watching this particular video from, do where to share the video. I use God beg you. It will not take anything away from you. Yesterday, after what M. Simbakara did to Precious, Untouchable Kemedi went back there yesterday, said that he needs M. Simbakara approval before he can move on with this marriage. The question I want to ask Untouchable Kemedi is this. I wish some of you have his WhatsApp number to share the video, give him a WhatsApp. The question I want to ask him is this. This M. Simbakara, is he the father of Precious? Is he the father of Precious? It will not be funny if at last you start telling her that he's a prank. You want to prove to the whole world that you are king of prank, to be honest. If you really want this marriage to work, you have seen what is going on right now. By now, you're supposed to be asking yourself a question. Does it mean that God don't want you to marry? Does it mean that you will not marry in this life? That is the question you're supposed to be asking yourself by now. All your relationship, according to you, is not working out. Anyone that wants to propose, one or two problems will bust out. Now, this precious one that is a special daughter of Zion, you don't reach her own turn again. Problem from different places. Problem from different places. Now, <clears throat> you are the one trying to create content out of this particular matter. You gather your boys. You go to M. Simbakara place. Somebody has sent you out and said, he don't want to see you and the pressure that he don't want. That he is not in support. Why can't you leave this man alone and go and see the parents, so the parents or the family member of M. Simbakara or for Precious, you leave the people that you're supposed to go and see with drink. You carry drink, start going to MC Bakara place as if MC Bakara is the father of Precious. Stressing this girl. See, maybe initially you plan to make this a prank, but as you don't reach this level, you can't hook you for next. You don't know what to do again. Whether you like it or not, you must marry Precious. And if you want this particular marriage to work out, untouchable comedy, leave M. Simbakara alone. His wife has promised you people that he know how to handle him, that he must come, if really, that without M. Simbakara in your, in your wedding day, that that wedding will not work out. That without M. Simbakara, that wedding will not be lively. His wife has given you, have promised you that you should come. That whether M. Simbakara like it or not, he must come. So untouchable, what I will tell you is this. If you really want this marriage to work, number one, avoid them Simbakara. Since he's not in support of it. Enemy might, might manipulate M Simbakara, though we know that he talk like a child. But enemy, devil might manipulate him because they already seen that you must go and seek his approval before this before you continue this journey of marriage. Then they go and manipulate him so that he will be the one. To be, to be an obstacle in this marriage. So if you want this marriage to work out, you better avoid M. Simbakara. Avoid him. Leave him alone. Leave him. But if you think that you want to make him content out of it, no problem. You can still go back again. Say you want to go go with maybe, maybe one of one million naira or two million to go and apologize. There is no problem about it. So if you want it to work out, take him out from this matter. Secondly, avoid social media. You are a prankster. One thing pranksters don't know is this. Some of those people that you are pranking, sometimes they, 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 they cry, they cry out of their, their stupidity, usually fight some people. Yes. What I'm trying to tell you is this. Take your marriage out of social media. You have tried social media and you see how it's not working out. So the best option is for you to 
leave your marriage matter out of social media. But if you want to replace Lord of Lemon, there is no problem. Because yesterday I heard that Mary have left Lemon's house. Maybe you want to you want to continue from where Lemon will stop. But I pray that Lemon portion will not be your portion. That is my prayer. Because if you want to start this thing, if you want to follow it this way, maybe tomorrow now you say you want to go and see the, the confirmers. is your mentor. You go and see this person. is your mentor. When you go, maybe if the person that you are going to is someone that don't even want to, don't even like precious. By the time you will go, it starts giving you unnecessary reason why you will not marry precious. If you want to get sense, you get sense. If you don't want to get sense, continue creating content. My own is that we already know that you have copyright on your video. I don't post your video. But as far as you are a popular person, the more you drop up there, the more we get our own content. We don't get any other choice. But my advice for you on Teachable Comedy, take this your marital issue of social media. One lady may give you a message yesterday regarding all this spiritual wife of 18. People are insulting her. Some even call me on phone and say, eh, this woman, eh, older Akuna, this and that. As you see me, I believe in, one thing I believe is this, give Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give God what belongs to God. And I believe that God can even use a harlot a, a to give somebody a message. He can still use a mad person to give somebody a message. We don't know if God used that lady as a wine to give you a message. Because what I see that is happening in this your marriage is this. Unless you are doing a prank, but if it's not a prank that is a, with a clear eyes, trust me, what I see that they happen this kind of doing this kind of thing is this spiritual marital issue of a thing. Because that spirit is the most dangerous, jealous being. You see, spiritual husband and wife, they are, they, their own jealousy is dangerous. They will try every possible means to forsake your life, to forsake your marriage, to make sure that there will be no issue in that marriage. Now, this lady have gave you the message, said that you should think how your, your relationship has been broken. At least, somebody that is sensible, when you look at what the woman said, you say, okay. Yeah, so even though, um, when, I separate, um, when I separate with the other girl, it's just something that is not even meaningful that will cause problems. There's something, I'm not saying that this woman is talking rubbish because I'm not the one that gave her the message. You get whether she's just the one or she's a pastor, we have fake pastor on this social media. We have fake pastor, and we still have fake social uh, native doctors. They are there. There are some native doctors that still know what they are doing. There are still some pastors that still know what they are doing. I cannot use a sin of one person to, to generalize the sin of one person. No, it's not possible. So God can use that woman to give you a message. He led for you to make use of your senses. Unlike when one emo gave uh, this girl message who uh, what name of this um, uh, um, celebrity that is saying deo, deo, deo. I have forgotten her name gave her message about something like spiritual husband of 18 said that this the spiritual husband that is scattering things for her she never believed she bring out the video insulted the lady with this one week or two weeks she started having problem the the person that gave them where she bought, bought land and built house for her mother, they started dragging the place. You know, there are some things. Not only spiritual husband do okay. There are some things. One you told that lady, people that saw the lady carry the video, come put on her page. People, all her fans started insulting one you They said, "We see it. She's having one problem or the other." So, if you don't know something, you leave it. Some people will come and say, "Eh, untouchable." See. Anointing of God is different from prayer. Anointing of God is different from prayer. You tell your untouchable and just know your God, this and that. Even pastors that are facing spiritual challenge, do they tell you that they don't, they don't know their God? Somebody will have problem that you use common sense to solve. You start saying that you know this one. Not the, the, the untouchable tell you that you don't know his God. Nobody is above temptation. My advice for him, if he wants his marriage to work, let him allow MC Mbakara for now. Then take your marital issue on social media. The, especially the sad moment, we don't want to see it. Let it be only the, the that time, happy moments between you and the pressures. Otherwise, online in law will help and scatter this marriage. If you don't make use of your senses, they will help you and reset your brain.